Welcome to this instructional video for the Little Digger Company's Hitachi ZV-17U Excavator. Please play this video again to gain a safer familiarity with the controls and methods. Ok, let's climb on the digger. First, hold on to the roll cage before stepping onto the trailer, then enter the cabin. When seated, secure the safety belt by making sure that the clip clicks. Then tighten the belt so that your waist has little sliding movement on the seat. Please don't lower the left armrest yet. Before we start the engine, look around the cabin at the controls and familiarise yourself with what each does. At your feet, these left and right pedals swivel the boom. To the left of these, this pedal is an accelerator for the tracks. The tall levers in front of you operate each track. When the engine is running, if you pull on either lever, that track reverses. Push on that lever and the track moves forward. Pulling on one and pushing on the other rotates the base in a spin. Remember which way the cabin is facing when using these levers. Now, to the right of your seat there is a throttle for the hydraulics, a switch for the light on the boom, and the ignition. The lever forward of these controls is for the bulldozer blade at the front of the digger. Once the engine is on, this blade can be lowered and raised by simply pulling and pushing on this lever. The blade position should be in a lowered position to secure the digger to the trailer. Next, look to your left. Behind the armrest is a lever. If you flip the lock securing this lever, moving this lever widens and narrows the distance between the tracks to provide a wider track base. Now the left armrest has a red lever in front of it. Once the engine is started, this lever can be lowered to lock the left armrest. Ok, now let's look at what the two joystick like controls do. Remember to be soft on those controls and make incremental movements until you become confident with how much the equipment moves with each movement of the controls. Think of the boom, arm and bucket like an arm where the connection with the cabin is like a shoulder, the boom with the arm like an elbow, and the arm with the bucket like a wrist. The shoulder has four directions of movement. The elbow moves forward and backwards, and so does the wrist. The cabin is like a waist, but can turn a full circle. So let's look at the right controls. These move in four directions, forward, backwards, left, and right. Forward and backwards control the upwards and downwards movement of the boom at the shoulder. Left and right movement moves the wrist of the bucket forwards and backwards. For the left controls, left and right swivels the cabin left and right. Forward and backward movement of the controls moves the arm and the elbow forwards and backwards. Thank you for watching this instruction demonstration. Please watch it again if you have any doubts. If you aren't comfortable and would like lessons, please contact us and we can arrange an instructor for your booking. If you would prefer if we provided an operator, please also arrange one with us. Thank you.